Hey, what's up, guys? Dan Clemente. Uh, so, I've had this machine probably, God, maybe eight, nine months, and I've never really used it much. I'm always using my, my bigger one over here. Uh, but I, I had a lot of orders over the holiday season, got real busy, real tied up, and uh, CNC for newbie reached out and said, can you do a video real quick showing the mini machine making uh, one of my badges that I make for a lot of guys, one of these. And I always use the other machine. So I figured, all right, you know what? It's Saturday morning. I could probably get myself set up. So I started, I, I did the first uh, without without any issue. And no, I had a little issue. I um, I zeroed in correctly and the, the bit drove through into a good piece of cherry, but that's okay. It's all part of the fun. And uh, so I'm making a badge here. Um, and I started so far, you can see that's the, the roughing tool pets all done. The only issue is I don't have a, a dust collection system on this machine. So it's really uh, making a big mess in my basement. I'm sure my wife will be pleased when she comes down here a little bit later. Uh, but I have a laser going on the other one. My, my JTEC laser's on there, but we're gonna try to get this done here and make a badge. So uh, hang tight, I'll come back and uh, as the day's going on here, I'll take video of it. I'm not gonna take a full video of it. It's just a you know, cutting tool path and we'll see how it's coming out. And then I'll compile this video together and show you guys what I got. So we're using the, uh, the little tiny machine here from uh, CNC for newbie. I, I forget the exact, this is the mini, basically. It's what they call it, the mini. And uh, I have it all set up using a, a Triquetra um, Zero Block from my other machine. I got it all plugged and wired in here. And that's really what I've been doing for the last two hours is trying to figure out how to, how to work the Zero thing. Uh, but it's working really good. So hang tight. I'll tape some of this cutting and uh, we'll be back in a little bit. All right. So it just started the finishing tool path using a 3.9 no uh, ball nose bit. And uh, the only thing I didn't do, diff I did differently than, than say my bigger machine is I usually use this block to get the corner. I just eyeballed it right here and then I just zeroed um, just down and that was it. And there's a macro for that that uh, I could put in the description from another website. So it's going, it's probably gonna run for about two and a half hours. And then once it's done, I'll come back and put the numbers on and do the cutout and we should be good. So I'll come back here in a little bit and show you the progress. So we're about a quarter of the way in and uh, the badge is coming out pretty good. Looking pretty decent. Got a long way to go. Uh, you guys, not sure if you know, but this uses uh, the UC CNC software, which is a little bit different than what this is using. This is using right now um, my universal G-code sender, which is this one, totally different. So we got two softwares running, two different paths right now. This will be done in about 12 minutes. This probably has another probably hour and a half to go or so. So two different softwares, same computer, two different machines. Definitely helpful to try to run uh, my Christmas stuff and get it out of the way. So in the last couple days, we've done all kinds of flags, badges, plaques, wedding stuff, desk plates, you name it. We're doing it. Other stuff over there. This basement, this is probably my favorite over here that I just did. This was hand painted. Uh, this one here is getting sent out. This is for a campground. Uh, but the CNC for newbie machines have made all of this stuff. So definitely very, very happy with uh, with their stuff. Don't mind my mess in the basement here, but hey, is what it is. So that's where we're at. All right, we're getting towards the end. It's uh, another maybe a few minutes to go to get that last part done. And uh, you can see how it's coming out coming out pretty good uh so far pretty happy you know it's, it's the right size machine uh, for these smaller badges um uh, i am going to change a couple things after this badge i'm going to get rid of these slats i know that was in an old video i put the slats in. i'm going to make one solid uh waste board and then what i'm going to do is um maybe mill long slats in for uh t-track so we'll see but so far, so good. I'll show you guys when it's all done. All right, so there's a completed badge. Uh, the next thing we'll do is we'll add the number on it. Um, the zero block, I'll show you how that process works here. The zero block is using a macro. I'm gonna try to hold this in frame here while I do it. And I'll lower the Z a little bit. And then there's a, um, there's a little right here. And it'll ask me, do I want to enter my material surface or do I, if I'm zeroing from the material, just hit enter. And then what I'll do is I'll come up here and I'll just touch it. It'll beep and it'll come down and it'll check it twice. 
and that's it. And Z is checked. So we'll be back in a minute. Right now I have the uh, V60 bit inputting the number on there, which is a completely separate tool pad the way I have this set up. And then I'll go back to a quarter inch end mill and we'll cut out the actual shape. And that'll be it. Definitely a small little machine, but it definitely packs a punch. The only things different I would do again, as I said, would change out the wasteboard and I would uh, change out the spindle to something a little bit more powerful. But uh, if I have this here for a bigger spindle, but that's for another day, so we'll see. All right, well, we're back. We did the profile cut. I have no idea what it looks like. That, uh, <laughs> a little bit of a mess. Give me a second, I'll clean it up and show you what it looks like. All right, and there it is. So next thing we'll do is we'll pop it out. We'll get it on the sander. We'll clean it all up. And then uh, we'll start spraying it. But uh, otherwise, not bad. Uh, and the spindle that they gave me was, it's only, uh, it's not a very heavy duty spindle. So this would be definitely something to change, um, especially doing this kind of work. I don't know. This is um, probably better doing maybe something a little bigger, uh, a little bit more stronger <laughs> of, a, of a spindle. Uh, again, so back to what I said earlier. I did the old review a couple months over the summer, and then I got real tied up. A couple things. This router, this spindle is like variable speed right here. That's how you turn it on and off. So what I would like to do is add a relay, change out the, the spindle itself to something a little bigger, uh, change out the wasteboard where it's a flat wasteboard with slats in it. And then I would use the T-Track to mount that on there. Uh, but otherwise, it, everything works good. I like the UC CNC software, it's pretty sweet. I did use this as my, um, as my zero block, which is normally from my other my other machine so i'm gonna take that apart probably rewire this back to the x the old x carp controller the x controller but otherwise yeah good job it came out good and i'm pretty happy with it so at least now you guys can see a actual carving versus just me doing a a quick test carve from a few months ago and my apologies to cnc for newbie for not doing a video like this it's just i had a lot of laser stuff done and then recently these just picked up a little bit so i figured that's time to do a badge on the on the machine because a lot of times i was doing a lot of laser engravings using my uh, my uh, JTEC. There it is. Hope you guys like it. Check out their website. I'll post a link in the description below where to find this machine. It's a good little machine if you want to look for something tiny and small and doing small stuff like what I just did. This measures, uh, you, this is about 8 by 12 um, This is perfect. If you're doing bigger things, yeah, you want to get something a little bigger. But if you're looking for something uh, that's a little bit smaller, fits maybe in like a cap, maybe a small cabinet, you know, like a little glass enclosure, that would be perfect. So there it is. Hope you guys liked it, and uh, we'll check you out later. See you, buddy. Bye.